the first, the first rule of thumb was, if you get a big appropriation increase, don't spend it all. Don't spend it all. Keep some in reserve because there's going to be an end to this and it might be a year from now or two years from now, but if we get overcommitted, we're going to be hiring people now and laying them off or laying some percentage of them off in two years. And what that does is create an angst among faculty and staff about stability. And so we thought that we need to redirect this institution by being sure that we have financial stability. So we always resisted the temptation to spend all of the resources that were available. We created reserves and we were very, very careful. A second part of that is that we tried very hard to hire people who identified with that concept. In the administrative groups that I managed, for example, by the way, many of whom are still here, outstanding people, came to the institution because they, they liked the challenge, they liked the idea of having to think smart, be very smart about how operations are managed, be very cautious about adding resources, wearing many hats. I always thought we had lots of people who wore many hats that on other campuses wouldn't be the case. On other campuses, there might be three people doing the job that one person at Grand Valley was doing. So along the line, we actually became the most efficient uh, university in Michigan. Uh, 